So uh, we worked on uh, being able to create content, right? As we click on create, it adds it to the bottom. What we would like to be able to do is now say, let's see if we can uh, delete something. Let's do that. Um, we, could, um, we could take the delete button and uh, any one delete that is here, so this delete over here, let's give it a name. Uh, we can say, um, actually, we can add it to a class. So this would be delete button. Right, and, um, and we would need it everywhere, right? We would need it also on the template as well. There it is. Okay, there's our delete button. There's a delete button. Um, all right, so let's see. We, um, we can, what we can do here is that uh, a, the problem with this delete button is what? Uh, notice that we, we uh, presumably this page will be empty at first, right? And the content will come from the server. Uh, this delete button at first it won't exist. It will only exist after it has been added to the DOM, right? Once it has been added to the DOM, then we we uh, we we should um, uh, it, it won't you know, at first it won't be bound to anything, right? When we add it to the to the to the DOM, is that that delete button needs to be uh, uh, needs to be um, bound to some event handler, right? So for instance, uh, let, let me let me let me illustrate. Here we have the, uh, the user row template. We have another one here with a delete button, right, with the same class. Uh, so you would expect that perhaps we can just grab the delete button. We can say const uh, delete uh, button. And we can just grab the ID. So delete button, there it is. And what we're going to do is that we're going to generate the event handler. Yes? I believe it's a class. Yes, it's a class. Uh, so we're going to say that I'm going to grab the uh, the delete button. Also, this is a dollar sign. I'm going to say dot click and invoke the function you know delete row uh, or delete user. And here's the function uh, delete uh, delete delete user. Okay. Uh, so here we're going to do an alert and we're going to say uh, delete user. Okay. So if we run that and we click on delete, it brings up the alert, brings up the alert. Looks like it's working, right? Uh, let's see what we could, how we would go about that. Uh, we, we, what, uh, now, if I click on this, I want to delete Bob. But if I click on this one, I want to click, I'm, I'm going to remove Alice. So, so, so I want to make sure that I'm, I'm clicking on the right one. So, um, so how do I get a hold of of the row, I want to remove the row. I want to remove the row. So how how do I get the, the the row from there? I know that the delete button is the one who's generating the event. I know the one the delete is the one who's generating the event, right? Uh, I can I can hear uh, what when when these when these functions are invoked by jQuery, right? It passes along an optional argument about the original event. That what that generated this this uh, this invocation, right? So here we can say event, right? And we can console out. Uh, we can console out the event just to show you what's in there, right? So let me bring up the inspect. Let's go to the console so I can show you what is coming in that event handler. So I can, if I click on on this delete, uh, I guess I didn't refresh. Okay, let's do the delete. Okay. Uh, oops. Console. Oh. Console log, sorry, uh, delete. There it is. So this is the original event, right? And, um, and it has a whole bunch of other stuff in there. But in particular, the one we really care about is this over here. Let me hover for you. See that hover? See that what, what highlights on the right-hand side? That's the button that generated the event. See that? So I have a hold. I have, an, I have a reference to that button who generated the event. And it's under current target. See that? All right. If I click on another one delete button, there it is, another event. If I hover, open it up, see the current target? If I hover, notice that I have a reference to that button. So I do have a reference to the button who generated this event. And I can use that information to learn wh which, is the, which is the row that you want me to remove. Yes? Right? Uh, so, so we can do that, right? We can grab the current row, uh, the current, uh, current sorry, the um, uh, the current target, so we can say uh, current target as event dot current target current 
uh, target. Okay, I'm just going to grab that that variable. Now, this current target is a low-level DOM element. Okay, it doesn't have any of the magic of jQuery. Right, uh, so it's very it's pretty useless to me. Uh, so instead, I'm going to wrap it around with jQuery so that I can have the high-level jQuery API. Right, I don't want to use the low-level JavaScript API associated with the, the DOM and anything like that. So uh, that's too low level. So I'm going to wrap it inside uh, jQuery so that now I can use all the high level uh, API uh, to, to, to um, uh, interact with that, with, that, uh, uh, with that element, right? So let's see what we could do. Maybe we could do current target. Current target, you can say um, hide. I can hide it. So what would you expect? Right, if I say delete, notice that it's gone. Right? It's, well, it's not gone. It's hidden. It's still there in the DOM. It's just hidden. Right? So it's gone. But that's not really what we want. Right? What we really want is, is to is say, hey, who's the row that you, that, you, that you belong to? Well, let's see. What we could do is uh, another, another uh, interesting um, part uh, of the API that, that jQuery gives you is ask who your parent is. Who is your parent? Right? Um, if we look at the DOM, the button here, the button is, is what? Who the, who's the parent of the, bot, of, the, of the button? This TD. Yes? Right? Really what I want is a TR. You see that? So parent is going to allow us to walk the tree backwards. Right? Just like find allows us to walk the tree inwards, right? parent allows us to walk the tree backwards. Okay? Uh, so let's see. Let's, um, let's, uh, if we go back here and we get the parent, presumably this is the TD. Presumably. So let's do a console just to verify. We do console log the TD. Right, so if I, say, if I do a delete, notice that indeed we have TD. See that? If I highlight over it, that's the object that it's highlighting. Right, so if I say if I, if I inadvertently say td.remove, it's going to remove that td from the DOM. So it'll be gone. So if I say, if I say delete, notice that it removes both the both two buttons because they're both inside of the same td. See that? Uh, so I'm almost there. I was able, able to remove the button. I was able to remove the parent. I want to go one up. Right? I want to remove the entire row. Okay. So, uh, so here we could say, Instead of parent, I can say parent again. Right? And that's going to take me where? To the row. Right? I'm, now I'm at the row. Now I'm at the row. And uh, I can print out the row. And I can say the row, remove the row. Okay? So now if I say delete, notice that the row goes away. The row goes away. Right? It's no longer in the, in the DOM. Everybody make, make sense? Everybody good? All right. Now, the problem is that now I don't have anything to, to add, right? Not if I, if I run this and I say create, oh, it's still there because probably I copied it early on. I cloned it early on. Um, uh, so I, I, can still, I can still clone this. But notice that this, this delete no longer works. See that? No longer works because the, when I first grabbed them was when I had those two, yes? And only those two had the click event associated. But not this brand new delete. See that? It's not, it's not there anymore, right? Uh, so we need to, we need to you know, even when we create brand new ones, we need to, um, uh, anyone new that we add, right, we need to uh, append or, or associate the, um, uh, the event handler. So let's do that. So when we create, where's the create here? Where's the create? There we go, the create, right? Uh, not only do we need to find all of these, we also need to find the brand new delete buttons, right? The brand new delete buttons that are being appended as well. We need to grab them. I need to say, you know, grab me row dot find, find me those delete buttons, right? Just like we're we're finding all the columns, right? We can say const uh, delete button to grab me the delete buttons from this brand new thing that I'm appending, right? And I want to associate a, a click event so that if you click on it, you're going to notify the delete user uh, uh, function. 
Okay, so let's try it again. Right, so if I if I create new ones, I create uh, it's this one. Notice that the delete works now, even with the brand new ones that we add. Yes. So you can't put an delete button first, right? Uh, right. So so if we if you don't have this, if you don't have that, right? If I if I add brand new ones and create, these are deleting, right? But the last one won't delete, the one I just added. Right, because the, the, the first two, when the page loaded, it associated the delete uh, event handler, but the new ones are not being associated. Right, so that's why we need to associate it, even the brand new ones that we append dynamically. That makes sense? Right? Uh, all right, excellent. So, all right, so we, we can add, uh, we, can, we can delete, obviously, we should be able to edit as well. But notice that all these changes are, be, are manipulating only the DOM. None of these changes are permanent. Okay. Also, the data that that we are that we are uh, rendering here is all hard coded. Yes. It's so much more interesting if we could fetch this from the from a from a server. All right. So let's do that. I'm going to I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to put some data available on in a Java server so I can retrieve uh, that data from Java server. Okay. So let's do that. <laughs> 